Hello there guys and welcome. My name is Ludo and I'm sitting here listening to the music of the awesome Damien Valent 2. So it's, oh, it's bringing back so many memories. I, I tried to look up a little bit about what, what games were released to the original Game Boy. And um, indeed I were right about the Pokemon. So I, I grew up with Pokemon Red, Tetris, Dr. Mario. Uh, and I did also look up, it, it was so many games. I did have a, a Link game, a Zelda game, a Link's Awakening I think. It's the one that is for the Game Boy. It was also a Castlevania game, and I remember this is when I'm like four or five years old. I have no idea about any English at all. But this is also at the time that I finished uh, Ocarina of Time. I think, so let's see, 93 plus 8, so 98, 97? A little, a little more than that, maybe? Oh, this, oh, nostalgic trip. I mean, that is so long, that's such a long time ago. Anyways, we are here in the, in the, in the future? No, really far back in a... Really long, long, long time ago in a far, far place away, I guess. No, not, not really. So instead of the... the they, they we're at the spot where they were gonna put a megalith, but I don't think they did. But let's see. Instead of attempting the, to travel through time, they should be devoting their energy to saving it. When time is no more, we wouldn't be traveling anywhere. Ah, oh, that's true, I guess. So I'm actually... It's, it's weird that she, the Ice Princess, hasn't been for, for talking more to these guys. So let's see. I don't entirely trust those robo-servers. What if someday an artificial intelligence takes over and sends the robots back in time to kill us all off? <gasps> not terribly likely that, no, that would definitely not make a good movie, that, that's for sure. That's disappointing. I came all this way to see the megalith, but it's not set up yet. So has no megalith been set up yet? Yes, I would like to say. So because this island is probably... is that not... no, that's an artificial island, so I don't know. Uh, and we haven't really been this far up north, I don't think. No, we def definitely not. We de definitely haven't. So what is up here? So it's just like lots of mountains it looks like. And we can't go more north. So this should probably be Demonia. So let's see if this is the library. Because then we don't want to go here just yet. Let's see. Yeah, the research center. Oh wait. Did we want to go... F oh, okay. So we need to really go up here. We don't want to go up here yet. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll do. We we'll check everything out later. So let's go up here. We'll check everything on our way back. Hello. Access to the Molecule Research Center is a restricted authorized personnel only. Oh, it's you? You're already back. It's fine, you can go through. I can? Why? Well, because I'm the one sent through time to save the whole galaxy and everything. Oh, did I get two gold from that? Hello, who are you? Open, close, open, close. Ahaha. No, open. <laughs> oh, he got it wrong. Hello. In addition to our research on creating new life forms, our studies of time manipulation are proceeding well. If all goes according to plan, we should be able to prevent the Great Calamity. Oh, hello, robot. Probably of surviving Great Calamity is 1 in 3,720. Oh, good job. Some of the great scientists are working on an anomaly research center. It's quite a shame the research hasn't been fully applied due to the lever's overzealous board of ethics. Luckily, we don't have the same kind of restrictions. Oh, I want to see this! Oh god, that was huge! No, but it looks the same way though, so... Not not really too much cool about that. Are you new here as well? I was just accepted into the molecule. Oh damn it, that is a hard word. It's amazing that you've been here, but wouldn't you agree? This is a world-changing stuff. It is, it is. You're a newbie too? Will you be happy? Would you happen to know what that goes on sub-level by any chance? I don't have access to that area, but it sure is incredible. Well, I probably do, because that's probably where I came from. Oh, what is this? Is this like... Ooh. Containment of creatures, 100%. Nothing to report. Here are some of our most beautiful creations. These creatures can harness energy from nature and then store it all sort of biologically for us to siphon at will. All thanks to the miracle of molecular science. So are these guys like... The guys wink. Oh, look at this guy. He's look, looking evil. With help of our creatures, we'll have near limitless amount of energy at our disposal. Likely a sufficient amount of sustain on major... So I feel like these guys are, ooh, a whale or something. Tiny Tiki has got a big, don't you think? At this rate, he'll be as big as one of the old Dark Age continents. Of the, did they have all the Dark Age? When he will, then he will generate enough energy all on his own. Who knows, maybe it will even swallow the anomaly. Ah, uh, well, who knows. So, it's, okay, so it's five and six. Okay, uh, well, I don't really recognize any of those if we have encountered them as bosses. Oh, are these demons? <gasps> Those new hybrids are wonderful, aren't they? They'll certainly make good servants. Oh no! Wait, how many? There's 34 of them already. Oh god. 
So the demons were created to be servants, but they became. Oh god. Oh, we are we are authorized authorized personnel. We're allowed to get down here. Oh, I can't destroy that. Project defense system active. Likelihood of lethal force two percent. At the event, at the most crucial junctures, you have to make through tough decisions. G, we're counting on you to keep the project alive. On me? I've spent better pro part of my life planning this project. With any luck, I'll see it put in motion with my lifetime. Yet there's still so much to do. Let's see, who's this guy? Do you realize that what this time machine could do? Should you successfully complete it, will achieve nothing short of immortality. To think that if we had managed to remove the stone of time from the anomaly, all of this would have been inc inconceivable, I guess. Uh, it'll take us another several years to complete the project. Apparently the Molecular Research Center has dealt with our energy supply problems, but we have to finish things up ourselves. Time is a piece of the essence. The Great Calamity draws close. Can I not talk to this bot? Yeah. Oh, it's only a 3%? That is, that is far off. So, you've been chosen for the project, huh? It's a big responsibility. Keep your shin up. Okay, so I were apparently chosen for, the, for this. Let's see, can I go in here? No, okay, that's just an open like, thingy, I guess. I have a sword. I love this. We're making time machines and I'm fighting with a sword. Oh, this is, isn't this where we, where we walked up? Oh, yeah, it is. I think. So, yeah, this is where we had to have to, yeah. And this is a training area. So, what did we do here? Why did we want to go down here, really? Did, have we gone, like, have we been granted access to, to, to go into uh, something? I mean, we talked to everyone, haven't we? Can we do anything with this? Did I miss talk to, talking to anyone? I don't think so. What, what am I supposed to do down here? Well, alright, I guess. We just go upstairs then. So yeah, I guess that, that that gave us access. Or do we need to go to the library? Probably. We're probably going to the library, not to this place. Wait, is there something? No, that's right, that's just the, the whale thingy up there. Can I can I look at these guys? No, I can't. I can, well, I can look at them, but I won't get an info out of it. So have you have you any? Do you have any secret books here? Do you have any secret chests? Can I do this? No, no secret chest. Oh wait, oh, it's chests and cards is what they're looking for. Well, that's cool. Oh, thank you very much for opening up for me. And out we go, I guess. Do 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 do. So it looks like there's nothing to do on that northern continent. There's nothing to do down here as well. So this, I mean, it should be since since it did play. Oh well, maybe maybe they died after. Hmm. So maybe we aren't at the last moments here because, look, it's only like, I mean, that is the windy valley, but it's not. I mean, not a continent at all. And this here should be like where the, the Vikings live, I guess. Well, I don't know, but oh, that is the library. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the library. I just want to check what's on the other side before we go there. Like to the left here, where I guess it's okay, so it's nothing. Well, Alright, so damn it, do we need to go back the whole way later up to the north? Hopefully not. Let's see. Let's go into the library. Oh, oh, she's happy with this. Are you gonna live here? Let's see. Lara, hey, Luther. This is library. I mean, this must be the library of the Magi, the one who said to contain the entirely of Magi knowledge and understanding. Please, oh please, please let me have a look around. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna have a look around. If you're looking for a particular book, talk to Professor Gagel. He will point you in the right direction. He has an eidic memory. How do they come up with these weird, weird names? I agreed. You are in the Great Magi Library. For the sake of other patrons, please refrain from talking. Also, chocolate and invisibility clothes are strictly forbidden. Why? What? Man, why is every library such a killjoy? Yeah, even like in Harry Potter, I guess. Where the invisibility cloaks are. What is that? That's so cool. Okay. Uh, scanned documents come to us from the Dark Ages. It would appear the anomaly already existed back then, and of course the end of time theory originates from that distant period. At that time it was known as a Great Destruction. Did you know that the centuries ago the sea level was much lower? Evidently something caused the vast frozen continent to melt, thus allowing the sea level to rise several meters within a few decades. 
Unfortunately, most of the records from that period we have, have been lost. It's intriguing to think that they, have, they used to have a few large continents rather than several islands. That era is, unknown, is known as the Dark Ages. Maybe someday I can travel back to the Dark Ages too. Oh yeah, that's a real far back, I guess. So yeah, I was thinking about that. There's almost no continents, it's just islands. So I was like, there's not that many people, people alive, it feels like, because they're on small islands. There's so much to know, so much to discover, too much to learn in one lifetime. It saddens me deeply to know that I, that each life invariably ends to know I could never read all the books in existence or visit every land. At the same time, that might be why I consider each moment equally precious. It does make you think. Much has been written about the end of time, and most mage I strongly believe that Evan is an eye. As a result, pure research has advanced light years in a short period of time. I happen to be a skeptic. If time should meet its end, it shall happen, but I see no reason to believe it shouldn't carry on as it always has. Hopefully he's right about that. Well, you're he's a skeptic. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Hello, young lady. According to recent studies from the Anomaly Research Center, the anomaly exists in all times at once, but it remains to be confirmed. That is preciously why the Magilet project must be finalized, in spite of those who deem it too dangerous. I can confirm the Magilets were completed. Yeah, they were completed, and the, the anomaly was... Destroyed, I guess, or not here anymore. To make my dream reality, I'll have to read about 2,000 books on various subjects. What's my dream, you ask? To ask the, to work at the Molecule Research Center. It is far and away at the best research team in the world. Oh god, that is a lot of reading. Yeah, 2,000 books. Well, do you need to just read books, or do you need to read special books? The big book on cooking with spices. That's in room D, shelf 4, room... Oh, what? Shelf 7, room row 68. The top 50 theories on the anomaly. Room A, shelf 18, use ladder, row 42. The end of time for dummies? <laughs> Someone checked that out and never returned it. This must be the famous Professor Giggle. Quite your memories, God. I'm on the board of temporal, temp temporal ethics. Our role is very simple. Establish guidelines and protocols for preventing accidents in the time travel scenarios. We've been prepared for all that conting oh, damn it. contingencies. That is, assuming everyone follows our recommendations. It's nice to know someone's planning ahead, or back, I guess. Good day, miss. How may I be of assistance? Oh, is, is he gonna be an old man? Yeah. It just so happens I came into position of a book some time ago. I'm afraid I don't understand all of it. Would you be willing to help me decipher it? A book, you say? May I see it? Yes, here it is. My word, it's stupendous. This is a full treatise on the signs of cold. It makes some fascinating assertions. Might I make a copy? Thank you. Mr. Gagel, please. Get over. Oh, yeah, that's a nice spinning move. Get over here. Yes, an archivist. What can I do for you? Quickly commit this work to memory, and then make a full copy, please. Right away, sir. Not to worry. They should take but a moment. I'm all done, sir. Thank you, Mr. Gagel. That will be all. Get out of here. Bugger. Thank you kindly for contributing to the Great Library. It will surely take a number of years, but we shall eventually decode those equations. And that will enable us to replicate conditions of extreme cold. We will, of course, have to carefully monitor the reactions. Wouldn't want to freeze the entire island by accident. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. At any rate, by way of thanks, you have my approval to use the research center's large Hyperion cannon. You will find it is rather fun, but take care not to send any old things into the anomaly. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mister. That voice was really. I love that old man voice. It's better than this old voice. So we are finally able to shoot... What do we want to shoot into the anomaly, though? Do we have anything? Oh, okay. Oh, we're leaving. Looks like our time is here is up. But I still had so many things to find out. Oh. Well, you can't get everything, you know. So they are actually <laughs> accidentally gonna freeze this whole island. And make it so the water level goes down. But that is good. They're gonna help us, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, so we are gonna go to the cannon. And we're gonna use it. What do we want to shoot in there, though? Do we have an, an item? An old thing. We're not supposed to shoot an old thing. Okay. I do know what it is for. It's quite simple. We use the LHC to send various objects into the anomaly. Afterwards, we examine the temporal output. Yeah. Would you like to send something into the... Yeah, I would. Ah, you received approval from the anarch anarchivist at the Great Library. Well, if you have the approval of the Board of Temporal Events, it shouldn't be a problem. What would you like to launch into the anomaly? You. <laughs> 
Haha, <laughs> you're quite the oak, sir. What would you like to launch into anomaly? Me. Are you serious? I guess I am. You actually want to be launched into the anomaly from the LHC? Yeah, I guess. Very well. Every Everyone ought to be able to choose how to die, I suppose. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm a time traveler. I don't die. Ready? I've got a bad feeling about this. Hell, it's about time. Here we go. Oh, ooh, we're doing a nice spin. And we're in the middle. So I guess we have to do this. Oh, glitched. We have... Oh! <gasps> ah, this is awesome. We're in the future. Are you okay? He is merely unconscious, Miss Lena. Why did only I did get unconscious? What happened to you guys? It seemed, did you fall on me? You bastards. It seems to me that we're in the heart of the anomaly. Yeah, it feels awfully strange in here. Sort of warped or glitched. Most likely caused by the temporal frequencies. This place appears to be somehow bent reality. <gasps> Did I? My hero. It worked. Come on. All we've got to do is find the Magi key fragment. Yeah, that's all we've got to do. But we have a little certainly. It's even in this location. True. Still, it's itching, itching to see what's up ahead. Oh, you're just gonna be sad. Oh, uh, look at this. What? Uh, uh, oh. Uh, this place is really odd, Luther. It's like reality some is distorted somehow, as if space time were compressed into a single spot. And that? I wonder what it could possibly be. What are you looking at? That thing in the bottom? Oh. Did you see that? That thing he activated. Don't walk on it, it could be dangerous. Ah. Ah. Am I gonna die? Z Don't walk on it. Oh, it, it take. Ah. ah, that's so cool. Alright, so do I need. To, do I. Ah, I probably need them to be activated at the same time. So we go stand over here. Okay, so that is probably that's probably the mechanic here. So can we only have three guys at the same time? It looks like it, because somebody's not gonna run down to the left, I don't think now. So one going to the top and one going to the right then. And... Oh there we go. Hmm? Huh? That's weird. Yes of blinking on. It it, it yes of blinking on, it just turned off or it turned off. Yeah, I do know why. Because I'm awesome at puzzles. Well, no, probably not. Oh, it just opened that one? Did it not open anything else? What the heck is this doing here? Did you do something there? Yep, I did. Oh, really? I didn't see anything. You walked in the thingy and it turned off. And that was meant to be a riddle. It was kind of weak sauce. I'm actually pretty underwhelmed by a series of this anomaly. Mm, you shouldn't be, because uh, that's how I fix stuff. Alright, so that's lit up. And I just love how everything bends. So, oh, so awesome. Alright, so we're gonna go over the bridge here. Go. And can I jump? No. Oh, there's lots of things to. Oh, I want to use this. Maybe I should use it on that one. Oh. Oh, it's a side side shooter or a side jumping scroller. Ah, <laughs> this is awesome. So, can we do something like this to get it back? If I want to get it back. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, so there's nothing to do here. I should have, I should have known because I saw it. So let's jump up here, and let's see. So do we want to go back? It looks like we can actually not do anything right now, so it's, it's might just be as good. Uh, can we hit that guy from here? Can we hit that guy? No, we can't. Uh, do I want to? I mean, can we maybe, yeah, maybe bring out you? No, you can, you can go over there either. So, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Now that I'm over here, I can't go down there. I can't go up here. So, am I supposed to... Um, can I do something like this, maybe? Let's see. So, we take her thing out, and we do this, and then we go over here. Did that help us, though? Alright, oh! Oh, you <laughs> can go down here easily. <laughs> Damn it. So how did that help us? That didn't help us at all. Did we fall down here? No. Oh, we can go here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So do we want to? Uh, we probably want to hit it. Yeah, that's probably what we want to do. Yump. 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 Ah, I missed it. All right. So I'm gonna do this one last try. Let's see. I just. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. So okay. So that's how it works. Good snow. I thought I thought I was gonna die or something. So here we go. Ah, uh, really? Oh, all right. So that is gonna be it for this time. Uh, next time we're gonna continue this awesome looking uh, look thingy. Oh, perfect. The save point. So yeah. Thank. Oh, imagine it in here. What? Well, anyways, that is it for this time. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope I'll see you guys next time. Hello again guys, thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, leave a like and subscribe, and I promise you, you can find another video you might like. Thank you guys and once again, 